Holy mold! The silver shroud in the Oh no! Is that a silver Death shroud costume? Ah, hey, ah, uh, no judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? Hey! Hey! You guys need to be nicer. Just because I, I'm dressed up like a superhero doesn't mean you have to make fun of me. You're lucky the mayor likes outside. Might stop by the memory right there. There was this girl a few months ago. Man, oh man. Wouldn't mind seeing those girls. <laughs> You'd really take a visit to the memory den just to remember a hot chick? You get into trouble? It's your own damn fault. Not just like Right, okay. Also, holy shit, this mod makes this particular weather, the radiation storm, ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, good thing I don't need to do anything here. Uh, Nick? Hey. I'll uh, see what I can do. I need you to stay here. What is he doing? Pardon me, I'm sorry to bother you, but remember Please, me? Brother. Uh, not to my... Wait, you're that thing that pulled me out of that raider camp. Goodness, you still doing that? Uh, yeah, still at it. Well, if you wanted to say hi, make sure you're doing all right. You take care now. Good to keep going. I don't sleep or eat or anything like that. But if you need to, you do it. Yeah, I just need you to stay outside, because... Hey. Wait there. I'll stay put. I gotta do something a little bit morally bankrupt and you're not gonna like it funny that I do this in my silver shroud outfit I'm probably gonna die we gotta talk to Morowski okay Morowski how you doing you want a room Claire runs the desk give her something to do besides breathing down my neck we have to talk Morowski I can't talk to him from here. shit <laughs> What's up, Morowski? What? You got an itch or something? Talk to my associate, Fred Allen. Our selection ain't what it used to be, but the boy makes a decent cat. Don't do anything I gotta make you regret. Like kill Morowski in his own bed? Alright, I can do that. I just have to wait through the night. All the way into the wee hours of the morn. I'm not gonna kill him in this room while his guard is standing over him, looking like, Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah. Go to bed, Let Morowski. me offer you some advice. Shut up, Morowski. You're always up until you're down in this neighborhood. You feel big now? One day you won't. Hey, look at this! Hotel registry password. Now I can access the hotel registry and fuck around with it if I want to. This is why it'd be nice to level up my perk chart and everything, so I could have more stealth. But I just don't know what exactly I want, and when. Because I could go straight down into just raising up my sneak damage. Which would be great! I could do a hell of a lot more damage, or I could raise my sneak, or I could throw ones and other things, because let's be honest, I don't actually do that much sneaking. <laughs> I walk into an area and shit goes down. There's not enough time to sneak then, but sneaking or silenced weapons doing more damage would increase the damage of my Overseer's Guardian, which would be good Because increasing the damage by 50% that would be I assume A good like 50 damage right 50% that would be a hundred ish <laughs> Yeah, I kind of would like to do that Come on, Rowski, you gotta go to bed sometime soon. And then when time comes, I stealth boy. I might not have my power armor, but I have the devices to make things work. Ah, uh, if I had two levels, I could throw it into Mr. Sandman and instantly kill a sleeping target. Then I wouldn't even have to worry about anyone finding out. Hi. I'm not doing anything suspicious. <laughs> I 
Yeah, lay down, friend. Lay down. <laughs> All right. So, in order to take this guy out, I'm going to have to do two things. One, we're going to take some chems and have my guy yell really loudly about it. Uh, Psycho Buff. <laughs> and we're going to see if this instant kills him. What just happened? Shit! He's dead. Although I didn't think this whole situation no. through. Gotta be. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I wanted to stealth kill him and not be detected by everybody. No one's gonna care that Morowski's dead. It looks like I'm gonna have to lay low for a little over. bit. I ain't letting you get me. Shit. Ah! I'm sorry for killing Morowski! Okay, let's reload and see what happens. There's gotta be a way. I have a silenced weapon. So I just figured that I could kill him without arousing sound suspicion. But apparently that is a no. I mean, at least I can kill him in one shot. That's nice. All right, this is gonna be rough. I need to kill him for this mission. I wanted to see if I could talk to him and be like, hey, maybe don't tell people I killed the dude when I actually didn't. Let's work this out. But he didn't give me a talking option. I mean, I guess I could just not kill the guy. But I've got a mission for it. There you go. He's dead. This time I haven't been detected. To the point where I could actually probably just straight up leave with not even being cloaked. I could walk out in front of them and be like, hey, how's it going? Nice night, huh? Man. That Morowski guy. I sure hope he has a nice day. Watch this. Hello. Oh, you. Staying with us today? Renter assumes no expectation of privacy or safety for you or your belongings. <laughs> That's a lot of rules. No, I'm good. Not today. Then you came to the wrong place. <laughs> I did what I had to. Buddy. Dude was a gangster, drug dealer. I couldn't have someone like that telling everybody to come after me and kill me. Buddy, All right. I gotta be a lot more high or a lot more drunk than you thought hey. right now. Hey, come on. What I can do. Dick, we gotta actually just listen to the radio. Galaxy News. Radio. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Don't ask questions and good Everyone day. heard how That's Wayne right. Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Hancock. Death he is runs coming for you, Wayne. Yeah. The Galaxy. Silver Shroud is coming yeah. for you, Wayne. Radio. Is it Wayne or Wayne? Let's see. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Yes, and that's me, starting out on my own adventure today. Actually, wait. Was the mission for the Silver Shroud right inside of Good Neighbor? Because, uh, son of a bitch. So that is just in some random ass back alley. Oh, okay. Hey there. Let's What's have a conversation. Fancy duds. Looks expensive. Might be I found a new brand. 
Rumor is you killed Miss Selmy. That true? Selmy? Yeah, I killed the bitch. And her whelp, too. Shouldn't have bothered they barely had two caps between them. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me? Yeah, yeah just shut up, Wade. <laughs> oh, he's not much of a threat. Put a calling card on Wayne's body. Yeah, okay. Let me just take everything I can from him. Uh, let's see. I don't need these. We'll leave him clothed so everyone can look at him and be like, What happened? But here you go. Calling card in Wayne's body. I was actually- I really wanted to... Use a jet. And just like slow motion him in the face. I guess I could have just... Vatched him for that. Hmm. <laughs> now that I think about it, whoops. Friend of the show, Jerry, is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> You've been to Diamond City? Is that it? They had to cut out? Great. Great. Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Nice. Miss Selmy Big has boy. been avenged. Would you kill the dead? Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Are they in there right now? Galaxy News Radio. Oh, you're not. When him. evil walks the streets of Boston, one man busted, broken. <laughs> All right. I wanted to see <laughs> if I could do anything there. But it looks like we're gonna go ahead and stop the drug trade. I like how Jerry was like, what? I don't- I don't get it. Finally, the storm stopped. I went inside the building because I couldn't fucking hear Jerry- Or not Jerry, the other guy over this. Oh. Hey there, guys! AJ's connected with powerful friends. Don't be a sap. Play nice. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. You, AJ? The dealer who sells to children? Yeah, that's me. I'm a entrepreneur. I'm making a new market. Chems for kids, I call it. Cherry flavored jet, bubblegum mentats. Them Diamond City kids just eat them up. I mean, I can't judge too much for bubble. Bubblegum flavored mentats, but uh, hmm, peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the silver shroud. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the silver shroud. Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake! Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what, I'll pay you. Let's say 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? 50 caps. <laughs> uh... Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Uh, you're through, son. Screw you. Waste the freak. Face break. All right, time to shoot you guys on the faces because that's what you want, apparently, in life. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I could have solved this so much faster with just jet and booms. But I handled it in style. Oh, someone should make use of it. <laughs> I like how into it my guy gets. Uh, stop right there, miscreant! I'll have you handled right away! Ha <laughs> ha! I am the Silver Shroud! Maybe that's how I should talk while I do these missions completely. Alexi! News! The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. Well, I look like a bad bartender. guys better look out. Take your trouble someplace And now, else. a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evil doer's whereabouts. Interesting! I have been informed about a possible case for me to investigate. I have to go to the White House Chapel inside the Third Rail. Yes, but before I do so, I must increase my own stats. Decide something to do with my own character. I don't know exactly what I could grab. I could increase my ability to stealth. Or I could increase other things. Increase my agility. That way I can... Put points into Mr. Sandman and do more damage. Or I could just put my points into something else. We've reached the point, and I keep on saying it every time we, if we do this, but we've reached the point where I grabbed every single thing I really, really want. Damage, all that stuff. So now it's just kind of secondary things that I would do on a different character or something, but I'm doing it on this character because I'm a master of all trades. Yeah, we'll increase our agility by a little bit so we can start going into Mr. Sandman. And then eventually we'll do Ninja. Buddy, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. White House Chapel! We need to talk! Hey, Charlie. I'm way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? I got lips. You look upon the silver shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. The shroud then? More like a nutter. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee, it can be arranged. <laughs> it's not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and Righteous Justice. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and Righteous Justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, a flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. <laughs> it just gives me the fucking... <laughs> I mean, thank you, fair Robot. robot. I will deal with the miscreant in a timely manner. It is of the utmost importance that justice is always handled as fast as possible. Oh. <laughs> fucking... It just gives me the fucking information. Oh. And how far away is her apartment? Hold up. The Silver Shroud killed Kendra. It is... Actually, yeah, he's right. South, a little bit. Not too far away. We can handle that. Now the question is... Where did Nick go? Oh, there he is. I also really like how Nick was kind of into the whole thing, too. He was like, oh, yeah, through, buddy. <laughs> I don't think I could legitimately talk... In an amazing manner for all of the time. Because I would just be distracted by all the things in the world. Look how amazing it is when I blast the face off of a super mutant. Those vile creatures cannot stand between me and justice. The shadows shift as I approach my target. And go the very long way around. Stop right there, foul dogs. I will allow you to live, but only for now. 
As you, the viewers, can see, I have given Nick Valentine one of my favorite weaponries. The bleeding weapon of doom known as... What, what, actually, what did I name? If It Bleeds, which is a reference to a movie I have actually never watched completely. Kind of awkward, but oh well. There are vile mutants in this building, and I shall blow them up. That's not what I... That's not what I wanted. I thought it was gonna... I thought it was gonna hit the back wall as I backed out, and that didn't happen at all. Jeez. I seem to have miscalculated my attacks, but that's okay! Because now I have put distance between me and the foul! And the foul horrors of nuclear war. <laughs> God damn it. I really don't like how they see me so quickly. That just goes to show you I really should just be putting points into stealth. I crouch up, annihilate them, or... I could do other things like use a fuckload of stealth boys. Bloop. They don't know where I am, so I get to do more damage! Stealth bonuses, man! Stealth bonuses! Just because they're cautious doesn't mean I can't still get kills on all of them! I don't think I'm still getting the stealth bonuses. <laughs> I might legitimately have to just be completely undetected. Oh uh, well. I hope you were smarter than this. Bye bye <laughs> The super mutant just decides to ignore gravity. Ooh, two legendaries, huh? Alright. I like loot. I mean... Hmm. What can I say? Are you stupid humans? Always the Silver Shroud is always proud to receive loots. Considered of the fat nature. What did this foul beast have upon it? A duelist synth right leg? Nothing I would want, but it does sound like it would be helpful to a melee build. Someone melees me back, and the weapon just flies out of their hand. I have been informed that this weapon actually has other kind of ways it could help. It even affects the ranged enemy, so someone shooting at you gets... Their weapon's blown right out of their hands as well. Also a staggering 10 millimeter pistol. What is up with all the- I have like 15 different variations of the 10 millimeter pistol. I don't even want one. Just give me something else. I mean the Silver Shroud is- has a preference for weapons of grandiose nature. If only the world would bestow the Silver Shroud this kind of weaponry. But for now, the things that I have are fine. They work. They kill people fast. Huh? Oh no! There are raiders in this building! We must deal with them in a fast manner! The Silver Shroud did not expect to run into raiders here, although he remembers a time where he was here in the past and had to kill raiders then as well. Okay, there's like two different raider loots here. Oh no, there's a duffel bag underneath them. <laughs> there you go. I should probably not be grabbing as many things because kind of don't have a lot of weight there. Oh, this will be fine. I'll take psycho buff and buff out. Or buff tats. Endurance. Now we have more health. Bring it. I'll agree. Going up. The Silver Shroud will meet with this foul assassin named Kendra, and I'll shoot her down in her own home. For that is how justice operates. Third floor. Oh, 
Shut the fuck up a second. I hear something. You killed him! Time's up. The Silver Shroud seems to have popped out <coughs> outside rather than inside the building. <coughs> Miscalculations were made. But there are still foul villains for me to deal with. And an even foul creature from another dimension. I have dealt with the foul creature. Now I must go back to my main mission of killing Kendra. Somehow. Gonna be a good fight. He's just shooting at my location. He didn't even actually know where I was. One way to get that cool on pumping. Okay, back down the elevator. I guess I'm gonna have to find like a Don't staircase or something. I am frozen today. Oh, we haven't had one of those in a while, actually. I forgot about that happening. Ground floor. She's above us and there we go, there's a staircase over there. Gotcha. Hey Nick, you wanna pick hey, that gun up? I'm listening. Get that rifle. Done and done. You're not even moving yet. There you go. <laughs> Hell Something yes! I've always wondered about mutants. What's with the bags of meat? What the hell's the use of a meat bag? <laughs> uh, I have the same questions, actually. Why do they keep on having that? Do they even need to eat? We don't really fully know. If they do need to eat, then really they should be con uh, containing everything else and not in a bag that's open and has the meat falling out of it in open spaces, but more like boxes and containers. They can handle it. The Silver Shroud knows his way around a mine or two. I can handle it with grace. You must be Kendra. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Are you an assassin? No, I'm paid to make big, bold statements. Don't screw with us. If you do, you and everyone around you dies. Who's your boss? A walking corpse like you shouldn't trouble yourself about that. Oh! No! No! I have to deliver a nice line! I do not want- <clears throat> The Silver Shroud is a grandiose person! Everything is bombastic, including you, my own lines! You're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. Blah. I do so- Shut up. <laughs> You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! I think she gave up! Hold on! I have to try that again! Because I have a curious nature. Either she gave up, or I killed her way faster than I thought I was going to. And you. You're the crazy one in the cost. Shut up, shut up, Wayne shut up, killer. shut up. I. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> okay, I, I I tried like four different times, and it didn't result in her giving up. So I guess I was just imagining things. Short plasma rifle. I'll take that. Also, what is this? A contract? That's not good. We're gonna have to do something about that. Option! Assassinate Shelly Tiller. Why would I do that? I'm a good guy. Right? Let's see what this person's done. Shelly Tiller. It'd be under contract, so that's a C. Or not? Oh, there you go. It just doesn't have note on it. That's what threw me off. Inspect! Okay, that's... 
incredibly disappointing. I legitimately wanted to read it and see if there was anything there. But since I don't want to actually kill a person without knowing why, we're just going to listen to the radio again. Galaxy! No! Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Knows who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't actually want to listen to the Silver Shroud things. Jasmine, chamomile, pain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Although if I did listen to the show, I could really delve into understanding the Silver Shroud, rather than just kind of guesstimating. Because it seems like the Silver Shroud is, is an intriguing character. Look at this fucking door again. <laughs> uh, this door reminds me of some images that you'd see of like Fallout. Sweet. Where they show a door. That's like really broken down and yet still wants you to unlock it. Like they're so broken down, if you were an actual physical person in the world, you could just jump over it. You could jump over it, you could crawl over it. I mean, really. Aw, oh, gee, Polly. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. <laughs> okay. Let's go talk to, uh, let's go talk to Kent. And see if he has anything to say about what we've been up to. 